Hey everybody, it's Sean here from Chicory's Travels and today I have a pretty good project. Um, never done this before, so I'm sure a lot of other people haven't done it before either, so I thought I would show you how I'm going to do it and if I make any mistakes you won't do the same thing. So what happened was my level up, Lippert level up system, the jack, the middle jack started leaking hydraulic fluid from up under here where this o-ring is um, so when I talked to Lippert they said there's no way to fix it you just have to replace the jack I've read some other websites where that people have taken them off and gotten them actually rebuilt um, I just went with Lippert's advice and bought a new jack had it sent to where we're staying and I'm going to attempt to put it on. So one of the thi first things we did was um, stabilize the RV in case for some reason we lose hydraulic pressure in all of the jacks and it starts to fall. The, the uh, RV will not go down far because I've secured it. The other thing I did was I took my snap pad off um, just preparing this to be changed. So really it's uh, three bolts on this side, three bolts on this side, and then the hydraulic lines. So let's get started. I should mention one other thing I had to do was uh, loosen this um, cover here so I could reach up and uh, loosen the bolts as well as unhook the hydraulic lines. Okay, so I got all the bolts holding the leveler in place. Now I just need to disconnect the hydraulic lines and we'll be ready to install the new leveler, I think. As I'm taking the hydraulic fittings off of the old jack, I'm putting them on to the new jack. So then once we get it mounted, we'll just have to put the other lines on. Pretty easy so far. We did make a bit of a mess with the first hydraulic There are some little O-rings on these uh, hydraulic hose mounting bolts that go into the level up system and make sure those O-rings aren't uh, split or cracked or anything like that because that will cause a leak. So here's the old one, just finish this here. I 
again check the o-ring to make sure that it's not damaged in any way we'll just take off this bolt they have in there right now Okay, now we just mount up this one to where we had it, the other one mounted, and I counted the holes before I took it off to make sure I was mounting it in the same place. So that's an important step, but you can see the marks on the old one if you ever have to replace it. Part, the level buying it from Lippert cost $460, $460 to replace and it's really not that hard of a job to do so rather than paying a hundred dollars an hour for labor I decided to give it a go myself Okay, so we tightened up the hydraulic lines up underneath um, and double checked them. And now all we got left is to tighten these um, mounting bolts and we should be good to try it. I think we got it mounted up. Now it's time to test it out. So let's see how it works. Okay, so successful project. Now we just gotta put the snap, bat, snap pad back in place and button this back up and we'll be done. So it's not a terrible project to complete. Um, easily done on your own if you have 30 or 45 minutes and it just made a little bit of a mess um, with the hydraulic fluid so i'll make sure and top that off uh, before we hit the road and uh, we should be good to go thanks for tuning in and safe travels